PSM was okay, okay, this time quite easy. I should say not moderate. Yes, sir, you are very young in this photo, mein, sir. Yes, sir, I am young actually. Uh, sir, PSM was quite easy this time. It was actually easy, not moderate, I should say. Out of the 19 questions, around 15 were easily attemptable by anyone and everyone. And I'm All sure right. other four also most of the students have attempted correctly. Let's quickly go to questions, friends. Let's look at the first question. Uh, here, they were, we, they, we were asked, incidence rate so quickly we apply the formula total number of new cases upon total population at risk 10 had already developed measles earlier that means they were no longer susceptible so 90 were susceptible and it is calculated per thousand so that will come to 22.2 but they asked in percentage so that will come c 22.2 percent Please remember those who have developed the measles earlier or got measles vaccine, they are always immune. They are no longer susceptible. And denominator of incidence always includes at-risk population only. This question was on dependency ratio. Again, a repeat question, such an easy question. Dependency ratio is non-earning upon earning population. Non-earning is below 15 and above 65. Uh, so a total of 6,000 and 2,000 divided by remaining 15 to 64 year population that was 12,000. So this was a direct question, direct formula, easy 0.66. So we can call it as 66 non-earning depend on 100 earning for survival. If you remember, we took the same example in main videos also in mission classes also answer came 0.66. Question three, organize the following steps in correct sequence. I think again, I should say this was one of the easy questions. Remember when we discussed the classification of epidemiological studies in mission classes, main videos or rapid revision videos, you must have remembered what was the first thing. First thing I always mentioned was make a hypothesis. Possibly smoking is the cause of lung cancer. Possibly INICT exam is going to come very easy, right? So make a hypothesis. Then you draw your research objective design. How I'm going to do? Should I take a cohort study, case control, cross-sectional ecological? Then select your population and finally do data analysis. So choice number C. Your research study always starts with research question. If you have a question, then what will study? Kya karoge? So you need to have a question in front of you first. Then you proceed forward with the study design. Question number four. Find the incorrect combination. This was a fairly easy question. Biostatistics, I think, was very easy this time. Mean and median are not measures of dispersion. They are measures of central tendency. Standard error represents one of the types of variation or dispersion. Coefficient of correlation that we find through a scatter diagram is a relationship between two quantitative variables. And skewness is when data is not symmetrical like normal distribution it is asymmetric right so that was an easy question we were asked to find out incorrect combination okay student in this question there was a confusion so please let me know two types of questions were told to me by the student one was maintaining the medical records second question was data security and privacy because your answer will depend on this so could you please kindly confirm in the chat box? I'm looking at the chat box. Okay, skewness was moments. That is correct. Can you tell me about what was in this question? Maintaining the medical records or the data security and privacy. If it was related to security, then in the main videos, if you remember National Digital Health Mission, this is responsible for data security overall for maintaining medical records your favorite body national medical commission is the answer so depending on the language of the question maximum students are saying data security was asked so we now have national health authority national digital health mission right okay quartiles turtles are measures of this we have discussed in our mission classes live classes rapid revision everywhere it is locations so quartiles turtles pentiles and Centile. These four examples I gave you, right? So let's move further. Which of the following is not a component of RM and CH plus A strategy? Again, in mission classes, we discussed. So students who have attended the mission classes in detail, I'm sure they must be feeling happy today, right? So reproductive health, which will include family planning, maternal health, newborn health, child health. 
plus a is adolescent health so depending on the choices you will mark the answer in case any choice is not matching as of now friends don't worry idea is to get the question correct any choice i have missed somewhere i will leave my mobile number with you please feel free to whatsapp the correct choice or the language of the question it is my personal number in case i have missed somewhere right we will correct the language of these questions subsequently this is based on what students have told me as per mtp act of india two doctors opinion this i think we have discussed low risk below 20 weeks 20 to 24 weeks two doctors opinion is required for doing mtp right okay same question was there then another there were were there two questions from mtp act of india because they asked minimum age for undergoing mtp so what the mtp act says dr atul will also confirm this will go by the forensic answer ultimately actually the minimum age for undergoing mtp is 18 years but in cases of minors then a consent has to be taken from the legal guardian and students told me that actually the consent was nothing was mentioned about the consent in the question so friends look it at the minimum age generally is 18 years but below that also it is permissible no defined lower limit i could find in the mtp act of india still it is 18 years below 18 it can be done with the consent from a legal guardian this we have to remember there was a question on mahakum mela what was the purpose of mobile medical vans older question remember mobile medical unit was asked in inict few years ago so this is same see this question you can solve logically also it will not be to reduce the number of health workers why will we quarantine hundreds and thousands of people yes it can give us some information on early outbreak of diarrhea respiratory infection but mobile van unit we have discussed in levels of prevention what is the major purpose secondary level of prevention to diagnose with lab test and they are fully equipped to give primary care as well as management of common emergency problems this you have to remember right okay then there is a question on medical officer at phc collecting data for disease burden you divide diseased people into mild moderate and severe groups 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 means strata or layers you are doing stratification and after that you are selecting units from each group now you are doing sampling so this is stratified random sampling stratified random sampling best timing for copper t380 insertion please could you please confirm was this actually asked in the question good compliance was this the exact language of the question i am looking at the chat box friends i'll give 15 seconds because there is a delay in the live transmission always Okay, if it was multiple options in this particular question, then we know this is done immediate postpartum and within first 7 to 10 days of menstrual cycle, this is considered best. So if multiple response option, this question was there. So RCS program says best is within 48 hours of delivery, but we can also do immediate postpartum and within first 7 days of a menstrual cycle according to RCH program of India not given to a child with if we have discussed already in the mission classes if there is an immunodeficiency vaccine contraindicated is live attenuated vaccines so mmr is live attenuated it is contraindicated others are reasonably safe to be given right okay okay this was a question from communicable disease vector bond diseases i told you that rickett cell disease table we have to remember question will come on either vector or the reservoir so we know Rocky Mountain spotted fever is tick, rickettsial pox is mite, epidemic typhus is known as louse bond typhus, endemic typhus or murine typhus is known as flea bond typhus. So this is C, D, A and B, choice number C. The order of the choices of course may be different. This is what students have told us, right? Okay. 
black fly in case it was in the choice one of the student is asking black fly if it was there it is the vector of a disease which does not exist in india onchocerciasis among all the vectors black fly has the highest flight range also of 100 miles right which of the following is not a high risk group for HIV friends? This was an easy question. Repeat question from previous paper. If you attended the INICT session yesterday, this was there in that session also. Long distance truck drivers according to National AIDS Control Program is bridge population. When we look at these three high risk groups, how do they transmit disease to the general population is via the bridge population. So long distance truck drivers come in contact with commercial sex workers. And these are the bridge population. They take back infection to their spouses back to their homes. Right. Okay. Definition of blindness. One of the easiest questions less than three by 60 after best possible correction. Definitely. This is the same definition in national program for control of blindness, visual impairment, as well as WHO definition currently. Right. Okay. In a group of patients with diabetes, look at the question, their weights were compared before and after. When we look at a quantitative variable like weight, what are we looking at? Metric data. So best measure of central tendency mean. So you are comparing mean before and after an intervention. So this is paired student t-test. If they tell you diabetes in males versus diabetes in females, we are comparing their weights. Then it will become unpaired student t-test. If they compare proportion of diabetics before intervention to after intervention, that is sign test. If they compare proportion of diabetes in males versus female, that will become chi-squared test. Right? Okay. So I'm sure everyone has attempted all these questions so far easily and correctly. Okay, uh, friends, this you will have to help quickly. I'll wrap up the session. There are some questions wherein the choice Ayushman Arogya Mandir was given. So can you tell me if there was a question on this, friends? Okay. In this question, if there was a group of 100 patients, if sample size is mentioned and the choice also mentions Z test, then Z test is going to be a better answer. This we have discussed, right? Okay. Okay, there was no question on Ayushman Arogya Mandir. Okay, I delete this question. Otherwise, it is the new name of health and wellness center at many places. There was there any question on prevalence? Could you please confirm? I quickly wrap up the session. If sample size was not mentioned or even if sample size was mentioned and only paired student t-test was in the choice, then paired is a better answer. Okay, there was a question on hypertension, friends. I'll make a, uh, structure the question with your help. I'll leave my number with you. There was no question on prevalence, only on incidence. Was there any question on HPV vaccine strains? In case it was there, we have discussed. Most common in India is 16, 18. 6, 11 is second most common. 31, 33 is third most common. So we have Sarvarix, which is bivalent. We have Gardasil, which is quadrivalent. We also have India's own vaccine, Sarvavac, which is quadrivalent. And we have a nonavalent vaccine, Gardasil 9 also, which includes 45, 52 and 58 strain also. Right? In case there is a question on human papilloma vi vaccine viral strains. Was there a question on Western blot? Essay? I presume it was more of a micro question or a biochemistry question. What I can tell you from National Health Program, AIDS Control Program is, it is based on proteins. We discussed, if you remember in the class, it is a protein-based test. So, Southern is for DNA, Northern is for RNA and Western is for protein, right? Okay, friends, in case you find any other question from RCT, trial, health and disease, screening, healthcare system, international health planning, management, communication, environment, nutrition, Please, you can send the question to my WhatsApp number. Audio, text, written on a paper, a photograph is also sufficient. And friends, I believe you have done amazingly well in the paper. PSM was easy 
as expected this time. I wish you all the best. May you score marks much more than what you are expecting. Thank you so much.